Hey, what's up everybody? Copper. I have been seeing many questions in the comment section of my videos asking about copper. Should we be stacking copper? Should we be buying copper? What type of copper should we possibly be buying? That's the discussion I would like to have on this video today. Please consider hitting that thumbs up button on the video. Everything in this video is just my thoughts, my opinions. Please do share your thoughts, your opinions in that comment section below. But recently, we did see last month, I'm recording this video in June of 2024. Last month, I believe it was around May 20th, May 21st, where we did see copper, I do believe, go to an all-time high at $5.00. And 20 cents, it was between five dollars and 10 cents, five dollars 20 cents per pound. Very important to remember for those of you when thinking about copper, copper, when we see the price of copper on Kitco or wherever you're looking at the price of copper, copper is priced not in troy ounces but in pounds. Copper is priced in pounds. As I'm recording this video. I am looking at copper on Kitco, and the current price for copper is $4.49 per pound. All the copper that you see before you on this video, this copper bullion was purchased many, many years ago. The Copper Walking Liberty rounds that I have, which is one of my favorite copper rounds, I think copper in the bullion form is beautiful. It's a beautiful metal. It's definitely really shiny, but should we be stacking it? Is it worth it to stack copper in the bullion form? In about 2011, I bought two tubes of these Walking Liberty copper rounds. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for these. I didn't write down at the time how much I paid for these copper walking liberty rounds, but these indeed are copper walking liberty rounds. Very popular design on the walking liberty quarters. Of course, the American Silver Eagle. And you often see this walking liberty design on many different silver rounds and including copper rounds. So very beautiful. And if we flip it over to the reverse, we will see that it says copper 999 fine one AVDP ounce 2011. So copper is not measured when we're talking about ounces. It's not measured in a troy ounce. They are measured in AVDP ounces. Again, when we're looking at the price of copper, very important to remember that it's not per ounce. It is per pound. Now, copper bullion, definitely very high premiums for a number of different reasons. One reason is manufacturing cost. Then when you buy it from whomever you're buying it from, a dealer or whatever the case may be, then there's also profit that needs to be made. So the premiums, when we're talking about premiums on copper bullion, definitely very high. The price of copper rounds and bars definitely do fluctuate depending on where you look. Again, the price of copper as of the recording this video, looking at Kitco is $4.49 per pound. But if you wanna buy just one copper round, I did look prior to recording this video, and if you just wanna buy like one through 20, copper rounds. At many places, it looks like it's anywhere between $2, $2.55, maybe $3 per copper round, even though the price of copper, as I previously stated, is about $4.49 per pound as of the recording of this video. So definitely a lot of premiums when it comes to buying copper in the bullion form. A lot of people also like to collect copper. It's not so much about stacking copper, but some people like to have a collection of certain copper rounds. A few years ago, there was the World of Dragon 
rounds. This was a very collectible series, the World of Dragon rounds. And these copper rounds at the time were just over like a dollar, I do believe, per copper round. But people were selling these on the secondary market for like $4, $5, sometimes more than $5 per copper round. So there are some select copper rounds that are collectible. And if you're a flipper, some that you can definitely flip on the secondary market, but not all copper is something that you're going to be able to flip, that you're going to be able to make profit on or even be able to break even on if you decide that you want to get into purchasing copper in the bullion form. Then we have some pretty cool bars here. There are different varieties of copper bars but once again when we're talking about premiums premiums on copper are definitely very very high and in a lot of cases if you wanted to sell your copper unless we're talking about very very collectible copper varieties of rounds and bars then most likely when it comes to selling copper unless the price of copper skyrockets then we're probably not going to be able to even maybe break even on the copper bullion that we're purchasing copper is not considered a precious metal like gold silver platinum and palladium copper is a base metal not considered a precious metal copper is precious to me i love copper but it is not a precious metal Copper is much, much more common than silver. Copper, for the most part, in my opinion, is very, very abundant. But nonetheless, a lot of people do like to buy it in the bullion form, even though, again, when you go to sell, if you ever wanted to sell just copper bullion, just common copper bullion rounds, you're probably not gonna be able to even break even unless we're talking about certain collectible copper rounds that are very, very low mintage and very, very high demand. Because again, mintage really doesn't matter if the demand is not there. But I do think copper is cool. I do like on occasion to buy it. I just don't get crazy with stacking copper, but I do on occasion, like I said, I do like to buy some collectible copper pieces when I find something that I do enjoy. So in my opinion, and you may have a different opinion and that's okay if you do, let me know in the comment section below, but when it comes to stacking copper, in my opinion, it's just not worth it to stack copper in the bullion form. And I have made several videos about this in the past where I talk about how I don't like to really stack copper bullion even though I did buy a little bit of copper in 2011. This is when I purchased most of this copper with the exception of the World of Dragon series. And over the years, there's been a lot of collectible copper pieces that people decided that they wanted to buy for their collections or maybe to buy to flip on the secondary market like these World of Dragon rounds. But I, for one, don't really buy copper to stack. I have bought these, like I said, many, many years ago. But how do I choose to stack copper? And I've made many videos about this and I like to stack copper I like to stack it and I have been doing this and continuing to do this for many, many years. And that is with pre-82, 19, pre-82 Lincoln cents is 95% copper. There are 1982 Lincoln cents that are also 95% copper, but some of those 1982 Lincoln cents are also zinc. So you have to watch out, and in many cases, you have to weigh your 1982 Lincoln cents to try to figure out if it's copper or if it's a zinc Lincoln cent. 
And for me personally, I just don't want to go through that effort. So I just ditch my 1982 Lincoln Cents and I just try to focus when I'm stacking Lincoln Cents or if I go to the bank and I have done this many times as well, where I go to the bank, buy a box, I believe it's $25 face value for a box of pennies. I'll go there, I'll open them all up, I'll take out all of the 1981 and before Lincoln cents. And let me tell you, it is becoming harder and harder when opening up a box of $25 face value pennies from the bank. Maybe 10% of that box, probably less than 10% of that box is going to be copper pre-1982 pennies. Which is why I don't do it very often and how I've been doing it lately is just every time I get change, I just pull out all of my pre-82 Lincoln pennies. Pennies are cents, however you would like to refer to it as, whatever terminology you would like to use. Sometimes I say cents, sometimes I say pennies. But this is the way I like to do it when I'm focusing on stacking copper and the way I've been doing it for many, many years is by hoarding these copper Lincoln cents, keeping them whenever I get changed, pulling them out of circulation and adding them to my copper stack. I have about 28 pounds. This is about 28 pounds of Lincoln cents. I do have a little bit more in a bowl somewhere that I didn't add to this bag just yet, but I will be putting that into this bag. And then I also have a much, much smaller bag of Wheaties. Lincoln Wheat Cents. I'll pull some of these out of this bag just for a moment. Lincoln Wheat Cents were in circulation and this is what the Wheat Scent looks like just like this this lincoln wheat scent was in circulation from 1909 to 1958 then from 1959 through 2008 we had on the reverse of the one lincoln scent it was the lincoln memorial but again, only up until 1982 was the Lincoln Scent 95% copper, with some 82s being copper, some 82s being zinc. Again, you have to weigh them out to determine which is the zinc Lincoln Scents and which is the copper. And please don't be fooled by just the appearance because some zinc Lincoln Sense does have the appearance of being possibly a 95% copper, but then after you weigh it, you will find out that it's actually zinc and not 95% copper, but sometimes you can get fooled because some zinc Lincoln Sense do in fact look like a copper Lincoln scent, and then you'll find out that it's actually not. After 2008, then we had, I believe it was the birth anniversary commemorating Lincoln's birth. And then after 2009, 2010 to present, then we have the shield on the reverse of the Lincoln scent. But this is the way that I like to stack copper when I want to stack copper is just hoarding the copper Lincoln scent. And I did mention about this 28 pound canvas bag I have of Lincoln scents. This is all pre 1982. There's no zinc scents in this bag. I don't think I mentioned that before. I think I just said a 28 pound bag of Lincoln scents, but there's no zinc. This is all just 95% copper and you wouldn't think 28 pounds is very heavy but when you're sitting down and just trying to pick it up with your arm it does seem to be a little heavy this 28 pound bag of copper but this is the way when I want to stack copper is to get it for face value at the bank in my opinion, very, very minimal risk when doing it this way. The only real risk, in my opinion, that you have with 
stacking copper in this form, of course, you're not allowed to melt Lincoln Sense because it is against 100% against the law and you can and probably would go to jail, go to prison, a federal prison. Oh, look at that. I had a nickel in this bag. Not sure how that got in this bag, but we're going to remove that but you probably would do many, many years if you were caught melting Lincoln cents. So I just like to hoard it until the penny or the cent, if and when it is ever removed from general circulation, then at that point, I don't know, maybe it will be legal to melt Lincoln cents if you chose to do so. But for me, I just like stacking Lincoln cents similar to junk silver or constitutional silver. We have constitutional 95% copper Lincoln cents. Now I could potentially go through this entire bag of Lincoln cents and try to look for rarities, rare coins, mint errors and stuff like that. I just don't have that kind of time. So I choose to not do that, but other people there are some people who probably would take the time, pull out a, a scope or a loop and look at every single one of these pennies or cents one by one. And maybe sometime, maybe one day I will actually do that. But for now, I choose to just keep all these pennies, all these cents in this canvas bag. Now, another con or a negative to stacking and holding on and hoarding Lincoln cents is if you ever decided years down the road, let's say the United States Mint never does or the United States government never does get rid of the Lincoln cent. If we ever wanted to take them back to the bank or spend them, then, well, we're gonna be losing definitely on inflation. These are going to be eaten up every single year by inflation but that's okay in my book because i never plan on taking these back to the bank or spending them but in my opinion it is a very very low risk scenario but at the end of the day you could just return these back to the bank if you needed to unless the bank one day said that we no longer accept change, which I don't personally think that's ever gonna happen, but I guess it is a possibility that we should probably consider. But this is the way that I like to stack copper is by hoarding, keeping the 95% copper Lincoln cents. Whenever I find one, I always pull it out of circulation. I always look at my change. I look at my change for a number of reasons. It's not just for looking for the copper, but I also look for silver. I also look for West Point W quarters. I look at my change for a lot of different reasons. Copper, 95% copper, Lincoln Sense is just one of those reasons, but it is one of my big reasons for looking at my change and pulling these little babies out of circulation. I do believe there is going to come a day. When is that day going to be? I don't know, but I do believe there is going to come a day when we're not going to find these anymore in circulation, the 95% copper Lincoln cents, similar to how it's very, very difficult to find silver, 90% silver in circulation. I think there is going to absolutely come a day when it's going to be very, very difficult. It is becoming more difficult every day because I am seeing it. Whenever I look through a box, like I said earlier in a video, when I look through a box of cents or Lincoln pennies, it's becoming less and less. That box, the amount of copper versus the amount of zinc, that ratio is narrowing for sure when finding 95% copper Lincoln cents. Not very often that I find a lot of it in circulation. It's becoming less and less finding 95% copper when getting back change. So it is that ratio copper to zinc definitely is 
narrowing in, in my opinion, based on what I am finding, it is narrowing by a lot. I believe there's a lot of people stacking the constitutional copper. I do appreciate everybody for watching this video. Do you also stack that 95% copper Lincoln cents? Let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.